as many places around the country are throttling back on COVID-19 protocols, business owners continue to find new ways to stay in business. Ashley Hudjaleski takes a look at whether these new business methods are here to stay. When the pandemic first began, many business owners had to quickly adjust their work routines. Whether it was going from in-person meetings to strictly Zoom or gearing their restaurants for an influx in takeout and delivery orders. Honey Bear's barbecue owner, Mark Smith, says his business really had to pivot. A lot of people didn't know how to switch over from fine dining or dining in to deliveries and pickups. We did a lot of Grubhub, DoorDash, we did online ordering and, and, and stuff like that, and that is huge. Smith says his takeout business increased 130%, and he, like others, believes that new ways of doing business are here to stay. I don't think it's going back. I think we're finding a new reality in regards to how our economy is going to operate uh, from this point forward. Historically low unemployment rates means it's tough for businesses to find workers. But Arizona Small Business Association board member Frank Divers believes the end to this struggle could be soon. Statistics are, are starting to uh, reveal that it is beginning to trend back. People are being incentivized based on the fact that the market is making them offers that they are like, wow, I probably should consider that. Despite the many challenges COVID-19 brought, it taught all of us how to quickly adapt. As bad as the pandemic was, uh, it triggered the creative imagination of a lot of small business owners to start thinking, okay, well, if I can't do this, then what can I do? In the end, many businesses came out of the pandemic stronger with new tools they'll continue to use. In Phoenix, Ashley Hodjaleski, Cronkite News. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, during the pandemic, 56% of businesses experienced a decrease in demand for their products or services and 19% closed due to government mandates.